Dolomite's my name, fucking shit up's my game. What's good? What's happening, Zini? He's Dolomite. What's the other night? Oi, 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 oi. Eddie's back, you know. Eddie's back, bro. He is back. Power movements. I was really surprised, yeah, because my friend, my friend sent me a message saying, oh, it's got 91 on one tomorrow. You need to watch it, Pete. Do a review ASAP. And I was like, mm. It's Wesley Snipes. It's Eddie Murphy. I'm not, I'm not really expecting too much yet. Yeah, that's a recipe for disaster. But, no. Watched it, amazing. Let me tell you real quick, acting from both of them, they are back in it. None of this dustiness you've been seeing for the last 10, 20 years or whatever they've been doing, falling off. None of that in it. I think majority of it comes to the fact that Eddie didn't write the story, he's just got to do the acting, and I think that's what was really good about it. He just did the acting and he portrayed the guy, I can't remember what his name is, I'll put it up there in a sec. He portrayed the guy, sick, the original actor from Dolomite. It's a true story. That's probably why it's so good as well. It's a story about, um, a guy that doesn't take no for an answer. He is pursuing, he wants to be a comedian, he pushes for it. He wants to be a, an artist, he pushes for it. He wants to be a movie star, he pushes for it. And you have to remember, this is the height of black exploitation. He, there's no power for the black man. You, do, you, do, you can only just get buoyed as a black man. And this guy was, wasn't having a bar of it. He, he, if the door was closed, he'll go through the back door, he's getting in and he is doing his thing. He pushed out, created a persona called Dolomite and some other personas, and then just sold the thing and then just battered it. He opened a doorway for everything else that you see in this time, in, in our era now. All the, all the rudeness, sex scenes, all the madness you might see. Like, all right, so him and Richard Pryor, that era, that's what they created for the after era of Eddie Murphy and all them raw, delirious and raw and antics, you know, all the just, just madness, you know? You could, you could say whatever you want. Before you weren't able to say, you weren't able to do anything. Sorry, video car. These guys created that pathway for everyone, all the access for everyone else to go and do whatever they wanted to do and all the madness, and then finally for the black man to get his foot in the door and start portraying himself because yeah, so that's basically the story. Um, yeah, sick acting from them, from both of them. The story was really good. I found myself laughing out there. If you've got Netflix, it's a definite must-see. Just go put it on, it's worth it. Um, yeah, 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 definitely. It's a shot down. Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell for updates. Hit me in the comments if you want to talk about it. Uh, love my zines. Music bed.